but my stories are not normal. I'll start with a rather abnormal story. The Lion's Minister of State. One day, the Lion's Minister disappeared. The other animals suspected what had happened when they saw the lion gating weight and picking his teeth. The lion put up a sign, wanted new minister of state. All animals, please apply, but only three dared to apply. There was the crocodile. He was long and green with snapping jaws. There was the bear, who was tall, brown, and lumbering with steel-like claws. And there was the little teeny bunny rabbit, who always followed the jungle laws. The lion looked at them and said, so... You want to take my test? You want to be my minister of state? Then come here, there is a test you must take. Crocodile, you first, crocodile. Take my test, crocodile. Here is the test. Smell my breath. <laughs> Tell me, crocodile. <laughs> Is my breath sweet like the smell of the flowers out on the savanna in the early morning hours? Or is it foul like the stench of rotting meat under the noonday sun? Well, crocodile. Now the crocodile knew the lion's voice, or his throat and, and breath was ferocious. It was terrible. So he looked at the lion and he said, Oh, your majesty, if you please, your breath would fell 100 trees. It could knock an elephant to its knees. I'd rather stop my nose with bees than smell your stinking breath again. Ooh, such a harsh answer for such a simple question. Why, wrong answer, crocodile. For if you talk like that to everyone, soon my kingdom would be invaded. Everyone would become our enemy. And the lion devoured the crocodile. Bear, you bear. Take my test, bear. Smell my breath, bear. Tell me, bear. Is my breath sweet like the jungle orchids growing at the top of the trees, or is it foul like the stench of fat, dead, bloated fish floating on a stagnant jungle pool? Well, bear. Now the bear smelled the breath. It was horrendous, but he did not wish to be eaten like the crocodile, so he tried a different tactic. Oh, your majesty, what a treat to smell a breath that smells so neat. It's like being given a delicious treat. Why, your breath is, your breath is, I cannot tell a lie and keep my integrity. Your breath is really pretty bad, your majesty. Oh, bear, bear, my bear, you did try. Unlike the crocodile, who tasted quite good, you did not insult me. Instead, you told sickeningly sweet lies. Everyone would know that you were afraid, bear, and soon my kingdom would be invaded. Wrong answer, bear. And the bear was soon devoured by the lion. Bunny rabbit. Ooh, bunny rabbit. Come here, bunny rabbit, and take my test, said the lion. Smell my breath, bunny rabbit. Tell me, bunny, is my breath sweet? Like the pollen coming out of the bee, out of the flowers to be made into honey by the bees? Or is it foul like the stench of rotting meat on the vulture's tongue? Well, bunny. The bunny did not wish to insult the lion and be eaten as had the crocodile. She did not wish to tell a sickeningly sweet lie and be eaten as the bear. So she chose a different tactic. Oh, your majesty, I do trust. An honest answer is a must. But before my answer can be told, I have to say, <laughs> Achoo! Well, I have a 
cold. That's right, Your Majesty, I have a cold. I can't smell very good. Your Majesty, you'll have to tell me how your breath smells, and maybe I won't get eaten. <laughs> Ooh, you are smart, Bunny Rabbit. You did not insult me. You did not tell sickeningly sweet lies. Instead, you ask my opinion. What a good idea! Henceforth, everyone shall ask my opinion. Bunny, you are hired. Go do my work. The bunny immediately hopped off to do the lion's work as minister of state. And the bunny still is running around working. Sometimes we call her bunny, sometimes rabbit, sometimes waskawi wabbit, sometimes Easter bunny, but let's not split hairs. Wherever the bunny still is today, we still know she is doing the lion's work. And whenever you see a bunny, she still remembers to wiggle her nose if she sees you and pretend to have a cold. We all mumble away. The lion's minister of state. <laughs>